here we have our electrically actuated PVC butterfly valve. Now the housing for the electric actuator here is off. We've just got it coming from our test rig so I can show you it working. Usually when it's wired up, this housing will be on the top and the cable entry will come through the cable gland here, the proper IP67 cable gland. This PVC butterfly valve, we call it a semi-wafer, so it's a wafer that it goes between two lugs, um, but it won't fit all lug standards. That's because you've got this outside here, sort of like a vanstone flange. So ours do fit table E up to 200 mil, but they also fit DIN C and 16. You can see the slotted hole gives you a few options, a few other options as well you'd have to test. The elastomer here, this is EPDM, it also comes with an FKM, so we can change that out. We'll give you, you know, good chemical compatibility. This is a, uh, a UV stabilized PVC disc too, so, you know, chemical dosing applications, things like that. A lot of uh, aquaculture as well uses these. If I just show you it working here, I'll just, uh, it's in its open position at the moment. I'll just go to close. So we're looking at about 10 to 12 seconds for a full cycle. Now, full cycle is 90 degrees from open to close, you can see it starting to bury into the seat there now. And you can hear that micro switch cut out. That cuts it out on here and it's in its closed position. Back open, we're looking at about another 10 to 12 seconds. You'll hear that micro switch come up. That's it, it's cutting out now. So as I said, usually this will be on top. You've got a visual indicator here. You've also got extra limit switches, but limit switches for voltage free uh, end of position, open, close, feedback, something like that.